Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to create two PHP files, one for login and for one for registration. So in this video, we are going to start our project from scratch. So at first, let's start the WAMP server. You can use WAMP or XAMP. Then let's start with NetBeans. Of course, you can use any other applications like Notepad++, Zen Studio, or just Notepad. Okay, now let's start with creating a new project using NetBeans. So go to File, New Project. I'm going to call it from PHP and PHP application. Next. Then I'm going to call this project, for example, cells web. And you should put it inside C164 www, as we have talked in the previous videos. Also, you should add the same name here, cells web. Then click on finish. And before we start creating PHP file for login and users, so you should go to the browser, run the local host, go to PHP my admin, and let's start with creating our database. Of course, the username by default is root, and also the default password is empty string. Go. databases and we are going to call this database cells web and click on create the first table will be users and we are going to make this user consist of three columns which is the mobile number which will be the username the password okay of this user and the last thing will be the name and of course the address. So go. First thing will be the mobile. Second column will be password. Third one will be name. And the last thing will be the address. We are going to put all this as varkar, so the mobile may be 15 as maximum. The password, let's make it 10 characters as maximum. Name, let's suppose for example it is 30. And about the address, I'm going to put it 100 characters. Now click on save. So, how can we create a page or PHP file to add user inside this database? So we are going here. This is our project, not this of course, not this one, sales web. So right click on the source file, select new PHP file, and let's call it add underscore user, add underscore user, finish. As you remember, Let's start at first with the connection. So con equal new MySQL I with four parameter, which are the local host for the server, root as username, empty string for the password. And what about the last parameter, the database name, which is cells web. Now, also we have talked in the previous videos, the second step, is the statement. So in the statement, you are going to use the prepare function and inside the prepare function, put your SQL statement, which will be insert into users values one, two, three, and four. So this four parameter for mobile number, 
password, name, and address. Now, let's define four variables for these parameters. So, statement bind param. All of them are string, so the four is string. And let's define these variables using the get arrays. So, mobile, first one, second one, dollar sign, get with password. Third parameter will be dollar sign, get name. And the last one will be dollar sign, get address. And the last thing will be statement execute. So this four line will be used to create a user inside our database. Let's change the browser to Chrome. Right click here and run file to make some tests. So let's start with question mark mobile equal, for example, 07. 8803060 and password equal 123456 and name equal the and address equal for example Adam enter okay let's go to the database our database is sales web create on users yes the mobile password name and address all the data have been added to our database but what's the problem with this example what about if I try to add the same mobile again it will accept it so how can we check if this mobile already exists so in this case here after the connection line, we are going to add another statement. Let's call it statement two, for example, or no, statement check equal connection prepare and select star from users where mobile equal question mark. This statement will retrieve the data of the users according to his mobile. So statement check and of course i'm going to use the bind param only one question mark or one parameter and it is dollar sign get mobile and of course at last we are going to make some check statement execute now to retrieve the data we are going to define rs equal statement check get result now the rs will store the data of the user if this mobile already exists so i'm going to write something like if rs num rows equal equal zero means if this mobile or if this user is not exist inside the database so in this case we can add it to the table and I'm going to add another line also echo for example one just one and zero one means the user has been created and zero there is some error else for the otherwise I'm going to echo something like zero for example let's try the example again look here if i repeat the same user ah zero the user has not been created let's check the database of course but what about if we change the mobile number for example one two three four five six seven with same password, but with user, for example, Marian. Okay, and press enter. Yes, one. Let's check the table. Yes, good. The user has been added. 
So in this video, we have talked about how can we create a PHP file to add user to the database and check if the user has been existed or not. See you next video for the login.